In this video, we will cover the general principles of the MRP Easy and QuickBooks Online integration. The main principle is that business operations, procurement, inventory management, manufacturing, and sales should be performed in MRP Easy, and QuickBooks Online should be used for accounting purposes. Generally, there are two ways how the integration can be configured. It is possible to only synchronize purchases and sales. For example, when you create a purchase order and receive an invoice, or when you issue an invoice to the customer, it will be duplicated to QuickBooks. For an in-depth integration, it is also possible to automatically send journal entries to QuickBooks with financial transactions regarding inventory and manufacturing that are managed in MRP Easy. For example, when materials are received, these will be counted to the Materials on Hand Asset Account. When materials are consumed in production, these will be carried to the Work in Progress Asset Account. When manufacturing is finished, MRP Easy calculates the cost of finished goods, clears the Work in Progress Account, and accounts for the products on the Finished Goods Asset Account. When the products are sold, the cost of these is automatically credited from the Finished Goods Account and debited to the Cost of Goods Sold Expense Account. You will find the full description of the transactions in the MRP Easy User Manual in the section about QuickBooks Online. To connect with QuickBooks Online, go to Settings, System Settings, Integrations, and click Connect to QuickBooks. After logging into QuickBooks and confirming the connection, you will be taken to the Integration Settings page in MRP Easy. First, choose what to synchronize. Purchases and sales invoices can either be configured to synchronize automatically or manually. If automatically, these are sent to QuickBooks within five minutes of creation. It is possible to enable or completely disable the synchronization of account balances with journal entries to QuickBooks. If enabled, changes in account balances are posted to QuickBooks once per day. Then, choose if a purchase order from MRP Easy should appear as a purchase order or a bill in QuickBooks. There are a few exceptions to the synchronization of purchase orders. You will find these described in the MRP Easy User Manual, along with a detailed description of each account, which we must choose in the next step. If balances are not synchronized, then only two accounts must be chosen. The Purchases account, which is used for items when a purchase order is sent to QuickBooks. The Sales account, which is used for items when a sales invoice is sent to QuickBooks. If balances are synchronized, then additionally, the following accounts must be chosen. The default bank account for payments on purchases. The inventory account for materials on hand, which are in stock. The work in progress account for the value of products that are currently being manufactured. The manufacturing overhead liability account for the applied manufacturing overhead costs also known as factory burden, from performed manufacturing operations. The direct labor liability account for the wages workers have earned by performing manufacturing operations. The inventory account for finished goods that are in stock. The default bank account for received payments the expense account for the cost of goods sold, the accounts for positive and negative manual inventory adjustments, the transfer orders liability account for costs of internal transfers, which are applied to goods. Now, we are all set. Back in the integration settings, we can choose to import information from QuickBooks to MRP Easy. Here, we can also manually force the synchronization of balances. Keep in mind that the first synchronization will only post changes from current day. Here, 
we can also see the detailed log of each synchronization. Thank you for watching. Please see our other videos for more about MRP Easy.